Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through what I do in my job as a data analyst. Yes, this is my table setup. This is my, yeah, I need to clean off the dust. That's my keyboard and yep, tidy up the table. This is the Trello app I use to manage my workflow. That's the mic that I use. And yeah, this is where I keep all my keys. Yeah, this is my clock. Nothing much, sorry about the mess. And yeah, I usually keep the fan on. Uh, I turn off the aircon in the morning and yeah, currently staying at my parents. So yep, time to flatten off the sheets to make myself look more professional. And yes, back to work. Yes, so this is the Trello app that I use to manage my daily workflow. It's an awesome tool to keep track of all your tasks. And I usually look at look it up in the morning to ensure that I hit my goals. My role as a data analyst is a little special. I spend the majority of my time building interfaces and dashboards for my end users and these end users that I'm dealing with are internal customers within the company, like the process engineers, R&D engineers and production managers. My main role is to digitalize their existing process to improve traceability and also allow them to utilize those data for analysis. The tech stack that I'm using involves only R and SQL, and I'm using the R Shiny framework to build up those interfaces with Postgre as my backend. My boss did ask me if I'm more interested in the data aspect of the job, like uh, machine learning or correlation analysis, or if I'm more interested in the interface creation and design aspect of the job. Having been through the creation and design of interfaces for the first six months of my job, I found myself falling in love with that and I've decided to pick the latter. I consider myself lucky to be given the option to choose and even though I'm foregoing the ability to do machine learning, I feel a better sense of accomplishments every time I see someone using the interface I design. I foresee myself transiting to a web development or software engineering path in the near future and I have been picking up the necessary skills after work and over the weekends. There's a growing trend of people um, moving into this big data and machine learning and I feel for you to really stand out, you need to be able to present those data to your stakeholders. Your stakeholders do not care if you spend 8 hours designing a data pipeline on a machine learning model, they want insights that has a direct impact on the company. Having the skills to design dashboards and interfaces for them to understand your data will make you a valuable asset for the company. Alright, moving on, I'm currently working on redesigning the Kanban system for the plating factory. Data is captured after plating is completed and they would like to have an overview on each plating tank. The interface will then have a uh, be displayed on several touchscreen panels for them to interact with. I'm rarely involved in meetings unless it is related to the interface design or when there's a need to ask for advice or other experts in Germany. Most of the time, I can usually find my solution on Stack Overflow and if I can't solve it in 8 hours, I will usually seek for help. This uh, rarely happens and it usually because um, I forgot to actually put in a bracket or something or maybe forget to put in a comma. Alright, so this is it for this short video on what I do in my job. I will do a day in the life of a data analyst in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.